So I guess this I could use as a little bit of a review on the mount and the freaking app that I'm using. Um, I gotta look at the map, the uh, the mount name again. I just bought it yesterday. And I forget the name of it. Basically, like, it, it came with a suction cup. And I was gonna thinking about putting it here. But I'm super freaking, like, cautious about suction cups. Because I've seen people use them before and they fall off. And, you know, I've, I've seen people put them on their tank and then shake the, shake the mount and the entire bike moves. And I'm like, yeah, see, it's, it's sturdy. And then they'll, like, nick it or bump it and then all of a sudden it'll fall off. So I really don't like those. Now I'd actually thought about doing a, um, like, using double-sided tape on the bottom of the, the mount and then putting it on there, but then I got this whole freaking thing sticking off the tank the whole time and I, I think it looks stupid. So this one is actually just like a little uh, thing that sticks to, I, I actually ended up sticking it on the fuel reservoir. It came with a secondary attachment that you can like stick it on your dash or something like that so that's really the only reason I but it was like $30 so like I, I could I don't know I could bring it back I'm not going to bring it back because that's the only piece that I wanted it's like it's perfect it fits perfect so I'm it's going to kind of suck because I might have to get uh, get another one for my R6 but um, I freaking love it. Like it's it's a really it, it fits perfectly on the fuel the uh, brake fluid reservoir. I'm gonna eventually have to move it because I'm getting another one. Um, eventually changing the fuel reservoir to like chrome blue, so I'm gonna be matching all the chrome blue accents that I'm doing on the bike. But. Um, I like it for now, it works really good. It shakes, it shakes quite a bit, but the, the surprising thing is, is like, it's actually, it, it holds it pretty damn good. Like, I'm, I'm kind of surprised as to how well it holds it. Um, it came off yesterday, but the only reason it came off yesterday is because I moved my hand up like this, and when I moved my hand up, I knocked it out. So it actually like pulled it off the clip but it actually holds super well. So I'm pretty happy with it. It's pretty much in like a perfect condition. The only, like the biggest reason that I got this mount was for GPS uh, when I'm going around like Vancouver and Burnaby and all that shit. But I've kind of gotten to the point where I don't want to use the GPS because I don't really learn the streets that much. So. But now that I've gone down two teeth in the front sprocket, I'm actually using the GPS for a speedometer. And the app that I purchased, well, I, I've got the free version, and then I was checking out the free version, and some of the features were actually really friggin' cool. So one of them that I like is you can have a speedometer, and then right beside the speedometer, no, no wave. Uh, right beside the speedometer you can have a map it like cuts it in half so you've got the speedometer on one side and the map on the other and the map is pretty friggin sweet man like it, it works really well the uh, the main issue that I have with it right now I think it's partially due to the screen cover that I have on it the screen cover is just as old as the phone so it's scratched to shit um, it's a little hard to see at the, in the daytime but if you've got a Bluetooth to like a headset or something like that like me I've got it Bluetooth to my Uclear so the instructions just go wirelessly right to my uh, right to my headset and it's how I play music too so I think the setup that I have is freaking amazing I absolutely love it I can't answer phone calls anymore with my Uclear because one of the speakers got fried in the wet. I was riding in the wet and it actually fried the speaker. So that sucks, but I'm, I've heard the replacements are only like 30 bucks or something like that. So I'm gonna pick them up. Do 
do I know this guy? Nope. But the other feature that I really like is the uh, the, the pins. Uh, say you see like a you're just riding around town and you're you know just regular adventures and stuff like that, and you forget what street you're on or whatever, and you're not really paying attention. Ah! You can pin the spot that you're at, or say you're camping or something like that, right? You can pin the spot that you're at and you can save it and it'll save there and then you can go back and you can actually check, click on that pin and you can do GPS uh, like you can do the uh, destination route to that pin at a previous date which I think is pretty friggin sweet the app's actually pretty cool it's got um, uh, trips like tripometers that you can set up uh, you can do like distance traveled and stuff like that. I still have to figure out if you can do um, a uh, like a route tracker, like if it'll actually follow where you've gone. I might actually stop off somewhere and try to mess around with it. I think it'd be pretty cool if you could do that. Uh, it's got like a boatload of stinking information time and display and all that stuff on there. I'm pretty impressed with it. The biggest thing that got me was the map. Like having, being able to have the speedometer and the um, map at the same time. I thought that was really cool. And it goes right to the Google Maps. Why are they moving over? I think it'd be pretty sweet to have it set up with like a, uh, a tablet or something like that like I've seen guys set up on their adventure bikes and the touring bikes where they've got you know an 8 inch tablet right set up here and I think that'd be pretty friggin sweet there's a whole lot of information that you can show um, I'll do a screen recording later and I'll show you everything that can go on it The amount of electronics that I'm carrying around right now is kind of ridiculous. Like I've, <laughs> I've basically got three power cords and three charger, like wall chargers in my backpack. I've always got like a notepad, pens, aspirin. Rick, I've got like just a bunch of stuff. Flashlight. I gotta buy batteries for my flashlight though because it's friggin' dead. The cool thing about this, uh, I'm actually doing like a screen recording right now. It's got, over on the left side, it's got like my max speed there, right there. It's got uh, my average speed. You can reset it. I think it actually does do a, um, like a tracking thing where it'll track your your route taken well you can see how far off my speedometer is compared to the actual GPS it's kind of crazy what the thumb up is for though thumb up thumb down dog dog <whistles> ah, that's like 30 km 20 kilometers off six gear
What'd you say? Oh, you got a bug in your eye? <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> Fuck.